I am going to discuss on the topic hypothalamo hypophysal portal system. The hypophysal portal system is a system of blood vessels in the microcirculations at the base of the brain that connecting the hypothalamus with the anterior pituitary. And its main function is to quickly transport and exchange hormones between the hypothalamus, arcuate nucleus, and the anterior pituitary gland. The capillaries in the portal system are fenestrated, which allows a rapid exchange between the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. And the main hormones transported by the system that include gonadotrophin releasing hormone, corticotrophin releasing hormone, growth hormone releasing hormone, and thyrotrophin releasing hormone. And these hormones that rely on the hypophysal portal system to indirectly mediate their function by acting as a means of transportation from various nuclei of the hypothalamus to the anterior pituitary. Gonadotrophin releasing hormone that regulates the release of follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone from the anterior pituitary. This pathway plays a critical role in reproductive activity and development. Corticotrophin releasing hormone that regulates the release of adrenocorticotropic hormone from the anterior pituitary, and this cascade is primarily responsible for stress responses. Another hormone, growth hormone releasing hormone, that regulates the release of growth hormone from the anterior pituitary, and the name suggests its main function is to help control cell growth, metabolism, and reproduction. And the another hormone, thyrotrophin releasing hormone, that regulates the release of thyroid stimulating hormone from the anterior pituitary, and that functions to mediate various responses in the thyroid gland, including additional hormone synthesis. And <clears throat> these are the pituitary hormone. You know uh, that the posterior pituitary, uh, the neurons in the hypothalamus that synthesize the hormone that are released from the neurohypophysis. And the hormones binds to the carrier glycoprotein neurophysin and then transmitted from the hypothalamus down the axons by the axonal transport to the neurohypophysis. And the hormones accumulate and store in the distended terminal ends of the unmyelinated axons that is known as the heading body. And there are two uh, neurohypophysis hormone. One is a antidiuretic hormone, and another is uh, oxytocin, that is also known as uh, pitocin. And antidiuretic hormone uh, basically targets of the uh, antidiuretic hormone and that increase the water permeability in the distal convoluted tubule and collecting tubules of the kidney, and it also play important role in the social behavior. Whereas the oxytocin, that's the main target are the smooth muscle of the pregnant uterus and during labor, oxytocin is released to induce strong contraction of smooth muscle in the uterus and ultimately resulting the childbirth. And these are the anterior uh, pituitary hormones. Basically the cell types of the adenohypophysis that categorized into two categories, chromophobes and chromophil. Chromophil again categorized as acidophil and basophil on the basis of their staining uh, property. And two types of acidophils are uh, observed, somatotrops and mammotrops, whereas the basophils are the thyrotrops, gonadotrops, and uh, corticotrops. And these are the hormones that are uh, secreted from the pituitary, anterior pituitary. That's a luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone. And that is a lactogenic hormone, growth hormone, adenocorticotropic hormone, and their effects on uh, different parts of the body, like reproductive system, thyroid gland, mammary gland, liver, and adrenal gland. So uh, hypothalmo hypophysial portal system, that's uh, from the superior hypophysial artery, and that form, that form, a capillary network, and that is gained by long portal vents, that is gained by long portal vents in the infundibulum portion. And that breaks into the capillaries as sinusoids of the pars anterior as portal system. And that's provide the link in between the anterior and posterior 
which we tell you. And if you see the adrenal hypophysis, this is the anterior pituitary and the hypothalamus. The adrenal hypophysis, that is a region, if you see here, that's a anterior pituitary gland, and uh, that's the portion, that portion is a pars distalis, uh, that is a pars distalis, pars tuberalis, and that's a pars intermedia here, means. And adrenal hypophysis has rich vascular connection with the hypothalamus of the brain and gets blood supply from several superior hypophysial artery. And the superior hypophysial artery supply the anterior lobe through two sets of blood vessels, through two sets of blood vessels. One set of blood vessels supplies the lobe directly and forms the sinusoid. And another sets of blood vessels supply the parts tuberalis. So there are two sets. One set of the blood vessels supply the lobe directly. And another set of blood vessels that supply the parts tuberalis, median eminence, and infundibular portion. So this artery form primary capillary plexus. That's a form primary capillary plexus in the median eminence region. In the median eminence region, that's a primary capillary plexus. Now, secretory neurons in the hypothalamus that synthesize hormone that have a direct influence on the cell function in the adenohypophysis. And the actions of these neurons extend it to and terminate on the capillaries of the primary capillary plexus. That is a primary capillary plexus you see here. And, 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 and into which they release their hormones and small venules drain into small venules that's a ultimately draining the primary capillary plexus and that deliver blood to the secondary capillary plexus in the first distalis of the adrenal hypophysis. And the venules which connect the primary capillary plexus of the hypothalamus with the secondary capillary plexus in the adrenal hypophysis that's form hypothalmo-hypophysal portal system. The venules which connect the primary capillary plexus of the hypothalamus with the secondary capillary plexus in the adenohypophysis that's a form hypothalmo-hypophysal portal system to ensure efficient transport of hormone, capillaries in the primary and the secondary capillary plexus that are fenestrated and that contains small pores. And that figure so the portal circulation. So, <clears throat> If you see here, that's a primary capillary plexus, and this is a secondary capillary plexus, and the venules which connect the primary capillary plexus of the hypothalamus with the secondary capillary plexus in the adrenohypophysis, that's a form hypothalmo hypophysal portal system. And you see here production and release of the anterior pituitary hormone. The anterior pituitary hormones are the follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone that start gets on testis and ovary. Then thyroid stimulating hormone that start gets on thyroid, adenocorticotropic hormone targets on adrenal cortex, prolactin hormone targets on mammary gland, melanocyte cell stimulating hormone that's a act on melanocytes and the growth hormones that is responsible for the cell growth metabolism. And this is a production and release of the posterior pituitary hormone. The posterior pituitary gland actually is an extension of the hypothalamus. And certain neurosecretory cells in the hypothalamus that makes antidiuretic hormone and the oxytocin and that are transported to the posterior pituitary where they are stores and have signals from the brain that trigger the release of these hormones that are the pituitary hormones. And these are the reference books. Uh, Campbell Biology, Reset All, Animal Physiology, 
Hill at all, Human Physiology, CC Chatterjee's second volume, and another Atlas of Histology with Functional Correlation by Victor. Thank you, everyone.